Good morning, folks. As always, like I always say, give thanks and praises to your Creator, whoever you might conceive your Creator to be. Now, for me, any day above ground is a beautiful day. So let me jump right into this day. Like I have said before on previous videos, no person have nothing on you. Nobody, regardless of what they have. Now, like I said before, all those folks that have houses all over the world, they can't live in it. Everything is shut down quarantine. All those folks that used to look down on those people in India and in Africa and saying that they're starving children, that they go in the garbage and have to look for food and garbage, what are we all doing now? We are running at Sam's Club and Costco's to do what? To fight, to stock up on stuff, just like those people in the so-called third world countries. To them, in the third world countries, it's nothing for them to go and look for food in the garbage because they're accustomed to it. But for us, so-called civilized people, what are we doing now? The same shit that those folks are doing. Fighting, pushing, grabbing, snatching for food to survive. Now this here, and another part here too, all those rich folks that have all those big mansions with 15 bedrooms and 14 bathrooms and have to hire a maid to clean their house. What happened now? The maid is saying, fuck this shit. I'm going home to look out for my family. You gotta find a way to clean your house yourself. What about those rich people that have all those, we call them, they call them again, they have all those um, cooks, the personal chef to come in and cook for them. The chef is saying, freak this shit. I'm going home with my family. You gotta learn to cook your own food for yourself. So you see, it bring all those rich people that think that they're above people right down to the so-called poor man level. So like I said before, no person has nothing on you. All of them have to come down to the regular way of living. Speaking about washing your hands and bathing your hands, they will talk about, look at the Indians. They got to go by the lake and wash their clothes in nasty water. Right? They are accustomed to that. So for them, it's no big deal. But now they're going to have to tell people, you have to wash your hands and be more hygienic. You know what I mean? It is something natural you should be doing every day. But they didn't have to tell you, no, no, in order to for the virus not to spread, you know, you have to um, make sure you wash your hands and you bathe often and be more hygienic. It's bullshit. We're accustomed to doing that for years. So that ain't nothing that they have to tell people to do. So when they're laughing at the third world country people bathing in lakes, what are we doing now? We're doing the same shit. Not really with me. Them so-called people that look down on other people are doing the same thing that they are condemning those other folks and looking at them in a nasty way for doing what they're doing. And it come back to haunt them. That's why I keep telling people, you do not put no person on no pedestal. You do not have no heroes. Don't worship no person, only yourself. Because eventually, that person you put on a pedestal, is going to come down or do something out of the ordinary. And you're going to say, damn, I never knew that that person was like that. That's why you don't have no heroes. I don't put no person better than me regardless of what they have. So like I repeated myself again, all those rich people that are accustomed to having what you call samosa, champagne and orange juice in the morning, <laughs> caviar, and um, snails as you would call them, same thing, lobster, all oh, that shit got to stop because they can't go out to get it. So they just let the regular people scrambling trying to make their ends meet. And like I said, this virus is a blessing in disguise. And I am praying that when it's over, all them rich people will take the money that they have and donate it to poor people and to show them that all the money you have, you still have to be in your house just like us that have a one bedroom and a one bathroom and you got your 15 bathrooms and 24 bedrooms just like us. Just like us, trying to make ends meet and trying to survive just like the so-called regular person. If there's such a thing as a regular person. 
because we all are one, regardless of what you have. So I can keep this here as short as possible, but you folks think on this. And when this is over, you don't have no hero, no basketball team, you don't have no football team hero. We all guess the same. All the football players, basketball players, hockey players, all of them are down to the same level as the regular man, so-called regular man, trying to survive in this so-called pandemic. Folks, until then, like I always say, peace out, one love. But in the meantime, try to be humble, appreciative, giving, caring, most of all loving. Because the only thing that gonna conquer all this here is love. And don't forget, don't forget, don't have no fear. Because the definition of fear is false evidence appearing real. That's the definition of fear. False evidence appearing real. Have no fear. Because as always, the Creator got your back 24-7. So always give thanks and praises to your Creator, whoever you might conceive your Creator to be. Thank you for watching my videos. Give me thumbs up and notification bell so that my videos can get around and try to enlighten people, to let people know that no person have nothing on you. Until then, folks, like I always say, peace out. One love.